Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. So here we are with a little flip through to my call August um, 2019. It all started with some magazine papers and some jelly print papers of mine. I don't know whether you have noticed but that's a strawberry picture from a magazine, her snout. <laughs> Purely magazine. Here we have some very old sort of construction papers, those children's papers thin and it's already started to fade on where the sunlight hit the paper so and jelly print papers and painted papers background is a jelly print again plain black kids paper or construction paper or whatever you want to call it and magazine snippets Again, just magazine and this is actually from a newspaper. Just magazines. It took me a while to have all the pieces together. Some pieces here are like three or four years old. Just magazine. Again, just magazine. That is magazine, but it's a fashion magazine. It's the, the Swedish fashion magazine which has really nice papers in it again just magazine here I have a painted background the green and the pink is painted and the rest is magazine again just magazine even the background it, it I know it looks a little bit paint but it's, it's a magazine here just jelly print papers and the blue is actually from some backgrounds I made um, and then I made a photocopy and then I did tear it up. Yep, it happened to me. <laughs> I did put it in the wrong side. Oh well. Anyway, it's uh, again, it is um, magazines and letters. Here also magazine nothing else this uh, is a mixture between magazines just paper and yeah that's about it here we have magazines that's actually a piece of a um, sewing pattern that gives this color that is uh, some painted paper that's a jelly print and that's a, a print of my own face, uh, of a face I have painted. Oh, didn't glue it correctly. Okay, I'm gonna fix it later. <laughs> Purely my own stuff. A copy of my own face I have painted and a lot of jelly print papers. Uh, some jelly prints have some added stamping. That again, purely my own papers, an abstract thingy. Again, abstract. Uh, this time combined with some music sheet. That's a combination of magazine, my own faces, uh, my own painted backgrounds and then photocopied, shrinked and photocopied. That is a jelly print of mine, that too. This is actually, the background is uh, one of those uh, paper towels I did mop up paint and I thought it is too nice to throw out so I did use it as a background and then again jelly prints and some painted papers of mine. Yep. This is purely napkin. 
different kind of napkins. Here we have all kind of stuff. That's an old uh, advertisement. That is some, um, again, the patent paper which I did stamp with text. And that are from the magazines. And that's the Joss paper, again. That is from my book I did bring from Seattle. Jane and I don't know what. <laughs> So, and I did for, that's from a children's book and the background is uh, from a magazine. All magazines except that, that's a newspaper. That are all magazines again. Kind of hard to see. Okay. That are some old like from the 50s uh, magazines and newspapers I still have. I'm starting to use them now. <laughs> That's actually from the Daphne's Diary. And the crown, I don't know where it is from. Purely, no, that's not true. That's a magazine. That's uh, some paper of mine that are old ephemera and um, painted papers and um, drop papers that are drop papers. That's purely magazines again. And that is the digital collage I have printed out. And that's 32. I couldn't stop, so I did another one just with uh, magazine papers, Chinese newspapers and some of my own painted papers and I also have some rub-ons here. So that was my call August 2019. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to show you here how I did my digi collage with the Procreate program which I use on my iPad. I know there are other programs out there who are more sophisticated and there is a maybe even a better way to do it with Procreate but I'm still learning. But I had fun doing this collage and in the end I'm happy with the result so far. Maybe that's another outlet for me and I'm gonna do more with digital collage, who knows. Now enjoy!